This is the Neo 65, which is brought to us by QWERTY Keys, aka Owl Lab. If you're confused by the branding, that makes two of us. Now, Owl Lab needs no introduction in the hobby as they've got several very hyped keyboard designs under their belt, like the Jelly Epic and the Mr. Suit. If you didn't know, they're also responsible for popularizing PE foam and the accompanying marbly sound signature with their jelly. Then came QWERTY keys with their QK series of boards, and I'd be willing to bet at least half of you are typing on a QK65 or 75. With the QK series, QWERTY Keys, which was the budget sister brand to Owl Lab, really upended our expectations as far as price for quality. Now they're bringing us the Neo 65, and Neo is apparently a different sub brand from both Owl Lab and QWERTY Keys. It seems that the thought process behind the different brands are to differentiate between keyboard designs, as it's still QWERTY Keys that's advertising the Neo on Reddit. That being said, the Neo 65 has brought the barrier of entry to another level. So let's talk about it right after. You already Neo, what's coming next? <laughs> the Neo 65 is a tray mount 65% board that can be mounted in both gasket mount and gummy o-ring mount. It uses a really clever gasket implementation that I've personally never seen before and it comes in several different colors. Today we're looking at the green which is a perfect match for BRG aka the best keycap set of all time. Now I did build it on stream if you're interested because there are a few little quirks to this board, most notably the ribbon cable for the daughter board. There is a method to the madness though and if you build the board per the instruction video it isn't really a problem. It's got a 1.6 millimeter PCB with no flex cuts and I originally built it with the carbon fiber plate in gummy o-ring now. Let's take a listen with the accompanying Neo switches which are a long pull linear with a PC top, a nylon bottom, and an LY stem. It's got a 3.6 millimeter total travel with a bottom out force of 58 grams. And while the manufacturer for these isn't listed, the Neo switches are remarkably similar to the last two switches that I've reviewed. I'm not complaining, so here's a sound test. So to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much from this board. After all, tray mounts are so 2018. But honestly, I was blown away at how good this board sounds and feels, and that was with no foams. Now keep in mind, the board does come with a full foam kit, but even without foam, the sound signature of this board is nice and even with no pinging or hollowness. That might be due in part to the stainless steel weight in my version, which would help to deaden some of the hollowness that's usually present in tray mount boards. Next, let's see how the sound and feel change with the gasket mount. To swap to gasket mount, I found the easiest way was to remove the weight, which is super easy due to the unique donut feet that leave the screws exposed, remove the ribbon cable and the batteries, then push the PCB up through the holes. From there, it's a piece of cake to snap the gaskets in place and press the PCB and plate assembly into the board. Let's take a listen to the gasket mount. Here we go. So I have to say the gasket mount definitely feels a bit softer than the gummy o-ring, but I think I prefer the sound of the o-ring mount. The gasket mount is a little softer and a little more muted, which was very interesting but makes sense as there's less contact with the case, which would both allow more sound to diffuse out and lead to a softer type feel. Overall, I am really blown away at the quality and thoughtfulness of this keyboard design, and we haven't even gotten to the best part. The Neo 65 starts at just $79 with a wired PCB and a copper weight. At that price, this board is a literal no-brainer. As you see it here, with the mirror golden stainless steel weight and the tri-mode PCB, it'll run you $130, which is still an insane value for an amazing quality board. 
To put that price in perspective, the original Tofu 60, which was a tray mount 60%, was $80 without a PCB and that was in group buy back in 2018. And that's before we add the cost of the included carrying case, stabilizers, and a USB cable. According to Neo, the designer of the Neo 65, the vision was to provide affordable mechanical keyboards to a wider audience. And I'd say for this price, that goal has been more than achieved. The group buy is set to start in mid-August, although I've been told that some vendors are already taking pre-orders, so check your local vendor for details. Check out some more keyboard content here. I'm MakerMods, and I'll catch you in the next video.